Hi guys, how are you? Today we're going to be opening up an Inku Crate for the month of December and I want to give a big thank you to Inku Crate who sent me this box for free to review. If you guys want to get your own Inku Crate, make sure to use my code. You can save $3 off your first order. So this is something that I get every month and my kids and I really look forward to this, especially since we don't live in Japan anymore. If you guys want to see what my kids thought about this box, then make sure to head over to their channel when you're done watching this video and don't forget to hit subscribe so that they can reach a thousand subscribers. The first item is this little stationery kit and this is so adorable. It has these cute little cats all over it. So I think they also had an option of a penguin gift set, which is what they showed in the little booklet where they explain everything. But I got the cat and it's really cute. This looks like something that would make a good gift for my kids friends I don't know if you guys did this but when I was in elementary school I would sometimes get like small gifts for all of my friends for the holidays or maybe junior high and just give them out um, during Christmas so this is such a nice cute set it also would make a great stocking stuffer so let's see what they have inside it looks like this kit comes with a little mini towel and a few different stationary items and the towel seems like it's kind of a weird item to include in a stationery kit, but this is actually, I think, a popular gift to give in Japan because they don't provide paper towels in the bathroom, so if you want to dry your hands on something and not use the air dryer, then you should carry your own towel around. And then it also comes with this cute little notepad with a cat and the little cactuses and the cat's butt, and the cat is only wearing one sock, so this is really cute. And then it also comes with the eraser and then the star paper clip. I actually use these a lot now that I'm working from home. And I bet this is probably one of those good erasers, not the, you know, quality of the pink pearl erasers. Asian erasers tend to be much better quality. I'm not going to open this though because I know that I'm going to give it to one of my kids. So next up, we have this adorable cinnamon roll calendar. This looks like something that I purchased in Japan before. I think I actually had a Hello Kitty one. And this is um, licensed by Sanrio. And Cinnamon Roll is so adorable. So this is a monthly calendar and it starts with December 2020. And then it goes through the entire year of 2021. And each of the months has a different picture of Cinnamon Roll. So one of my older videos uh, is a video of when we went to Sanrio Pudo Land and that's been getting a lot of views lately but if you guys want to go check that video out there's actually like a cinnamon roll bus and a cinnamon roll caf dessert cafe that we visited there and it's really cute and my daughter Sienna loves this character I think it's probably her favorite Sanrio character. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite Sanrio character is and also which month you think has the cutest picture. My favorite characters are Kiki and Lala, the little twin stars, and I think I like the month of June um, in this calendar best because Cinnamon Roll's riding a unicorn and I just think that that picture is super adorable. So it's a pretty simple but really cute book. I think this would be great for me to use to plan out my YouTube videos every month, but I have a feeling one of my kids is gonna really want it. So next up, we have this cute little cat holiday card. The cat is wearing a pair of felt glasses, so if somebody sent this card to me, it would be really appropriate because those glasses look like the style of glasses that I always wear. But I'm not really sure who I'm gonna send this to. I'm gonna have to think about it. Comment below and let me know who you guys would send this card to. So next up we have this little dessert design paper and it looks like they have three different cake designs. I think I've seen this um, in Japan before so, or something similar. These little dessert notepads which you can fold up and they actually look very real. So it looks like there's this strawberries and cream cake design which kind of reminds me of like those cakes that you always see in Japan around the holidays and then there's a chocolate cake and then there's a fruit cake which has some really pretty roses uh, around the edge so 
You can use this in a variety of ways. It shows on the front of the package what you can do. I think they glued the cake base onto a piece of paper to make a card, and you can also cut out a slice of cake. I, I think that would be really fun for my kids to do and sort of pretend that they're having cake. And then you can just fold it up into quarters, write a note on the middle, and give it to somebody. Okay, so I think every Inca crate that I've gotten so far has at least one washi tape in it, if not two, and I'm always happy to get this because I do collect washi tapes. This one looks like it features a cute little pudding or flan. I think in Japan it's called pudding, which is where you get the name pom pom pudding. And there are a couple of normal flans and then there's a cat one. So this is so adorable. And it looks like we have a couple of pens. The first one is this Uniball Signo Metallic Pen. And I got this in the color silver. And I've had this before. This is a really nice pen. It has like a metallic finish to it. So this is a fun pen to have, especially around the holidays when you're trying to be a little bit festive and a little more sparkly. You can use this to write place cards for your table or even for holiday cards. Or you can just add some sparkly details to your journal or planner. And there's also this blue pen. It looks like this is one of those dual tip pens. And this one looks like it matches the, the small stationery kit that I got. So yeah, it's, it's the same cat. And I like this color blue. This is such a versatile color. And this is the thicker end. This is just about the right thickness to make headers that stand out or to underline words. And then here's the fine tip pen, which you can use to write notes. With these dual tip pens, this is a color that I tend to use a lot along with like purple. I never use the yellow color, so I'm so glad that I got blue this time. And then here is a little um, set of schedule stickers, which feature cups of coffee and some desserts like donuts and coffee beans and pretzels and cupcakes. So you can use this in your cinnamon roll planner anytime you decide to go to a cafe or you wanna decorate your journal with a cafe theme. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out these playlists right here. And I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna become a channel member or a Patreon, go to the front of my YouTube channel and click the join button. You get early access to videos as well as access to special blog posts and videos that I reserve only for my channel members and Patreon family. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.